The Diamedica Baby CPAP is a unique design providing high flows of oxygen and air from atmosphere using a modified oxygen concentrator. Up to 8 litres per minute of oxygen and 8 litres of air are controlled by separate flow meters, allowing a variable gas mixture to the patient containing oxygen from 21% to 95% calculated by this chart. The gas mixture is humidified by this bottle before being delivered to the patient through silicon nasal cannula. The CPAP pressure is controlled by a bubble device on the side of the concentrator. Position the concentrator so that it is at least 30 centimetres away from walls or curtains so that the inlet opening at the back is not obstructed. Plug the power cord into the mains electricity supply and turn on the concentrator. A yellow light should turn on and remain lit for a few minutes, usually within 10 minutes until the concentration of the gas supplied reaches and exceeds 85%. The yellow light should then turn off after this time, showing that the concentrator is running correctly. Fill the bottles to the level indicated with boiled water that has been allowed to cool and screw the lids back on. Connect the inspiratory limb of the circuit to the main gas outlet. Connect the expiratory limb of the circuit to the bottle. Dial up the level of CPAP required. Start at 7 centimetres of water. Fit the bonnet to the child. Fit the Velcro strip to the bonnet. Fit the appropriate size nasal prongs to the two flexible tubes. Place the prongs into the patient's nostrils and secure with the Velcro clips. When it is all in place, connect the inspiratory and expiratory tubes. Use the chin strap to help secure the equipment. Dial the flows of air and oxygen required to see a constant stream of bubbles in the water. Start with 5 litres per minute of oxygen and 5 litres per minute of air. Check and record the flows dialed and the oxygen concentration this provides. A total flow of 10 litres a minute is sufficient in most cases to deliver CPAP which you can see by the continuous bubbling in the bottle. Check the child for signs of respiratory distress. Check the level of oxygen saturation and check if there are bubbles in the bottle. If the level of oxygen saturation is below 90% or the child has severe respiratory distress First increase the CPAP level to 8 or 10 centimetres of water and then if no response increase in the oxygen flow meter to as much as 8 litres a minute. If there are still no continuous bubbles, check the nasal prongs are attached properly and reposition them so they fit snugly inside the nostrils. If there are still no continuous bubbles, check for leaks along the circuit and adjust the oxygen or air flows according to the chart in the manual. Refer to the protocol for use manual for further information.